The following program is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Previously on Breakout. Um, Brax, why don't we call it for today? But we have like three more reps, and then we're supposed to end with cardio. Change of plans. Let's get the hell out of here now. Okay, why are you acting so weird? Brax? Is that you? Oh, that's why. Hey bro, you a rook? Yeah, just saw it a few days ago. That's what's up, me too. I'm Makai, Makai Masters. Orlando Richardson. Oh shit, you the dude from Duke that didn't get drafted. <sighs> yeah. I don't know what offends me more. The fact that you thought I was dating Amir, or the fact that you thought I would just blab to him about something you told me in secret. <laughs> Raven, I'm sorry, okay? Why don't you ask Miss Crumpets and Tay? Maybe she told him. Yeah, Blake didn't do it. And her and Amir literally play for the same team, so he's obviously not dating her. Then who the hell did it? Hi, baby. Hi. Did you miss me? What you think? Hey, Jackson? Yes, this is Carrington St. James. About that supporting role. What do you mean, she's coming? Exactly what I said. Aren't you happy? Why would I be happy about someone that hates me attending my album release party? Have you ever stopped to think that maybe, just, just maybe there was a reason I was hugging him? A reason that had nothing to do with you? A reason like what? It's really not my place to say. <laughs> of course it's not. Your place is on the fence where you get to be complicit and not choose sides. Well, guess what, Seven? You can stay there, just as long as you stay the fuck away from me. There you are, I was... looking for you. Oh my goodness. Hell no. Security! Can somebody get these idiots out of my home? <laughs> Can't believe I ended up having a terrible night again. Yeah. You sure I'm your good luck charm? Positive. Lori Monroe? Will you marry me? Yes. Of course I'll marry you. Absolutely, yes. Walk up in this bitch life. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my shit life. Bitch, I'm really Keep the ball him. moving. Find the open man. Walking this bitch like, hey. yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like, hey, bitch, I'm really him. Don't believe me? Come and see me. Got three wishes from my team. Nice. Come on, let's go. Push the ball. Forty seconds left. Good pass. I got ball. Please step aside so they can see me and I walk up in this bitch like, yeah, I'm really him. I'm about to show you how we ball up in Brooklyn country, boy. You can't guard me. Bro, move the ball. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like. Bitch, I'm really him. I'm the realest from my city. That's on my knee. That's on TV. That's on mama's. Good steal. Get back on defense. Deny, deny. Don't let him pass it to Ezra. He been hot all game. Niggas know me from the street. Niggas acting for what feature. That's like every other week. Niggas talk behind my back. I kick my feet up. Have a seat. Cause at the end of the day, all these niggas watching me as I walk up in this 
bitch like Yeah, I'm really him Double, double him my shit like Bitch, I'm really him I'm open Hey Walking this bitch like I'm open Yeah, I'm really him Talking my shit like Bitch, I'm really Damn. him Oh, God Let's go Yeah, good defense, boy Damn, bro. I thought we had that. Did you see that? He looked me off. Good job, Blue. Good defense. White, hit the baseline. I need 10 suicides. Today, let's go! Hey, what was that about? I was wide open in the corner and you straight up looked me off to take a contested three. It was a scrimmage. Get over it. I don't care if it was a championship game or an open run. Learn how to make the right play. The right play. I was four for four from three. That was the right play. I'm making that in my sleep. Well, maybe you should take your ass to sleep then. Hey, y'all chill out with all of that. I am chill. He got static with me now because he think I ruined some dumbass party that I didn't even want to go to. You don't like me? Cool. I really don't give a fuck. But don't bring that shit on the court. Bro, who do you think you are? Like, honestly, the poster child for teamwork? You think just because you want a ring in college, you know what's best? I want two rings. Who cares? You went undrafted and the team took a flyer on you because you play defense. Have some self-awareness, man. Oh, shit. If I passed it to you and you missed it, then what? Would you be puffing your fucking chest in my face then? I trusted me to make that shot more than I trusted you to make that shot. Deal with it. What? You gonna hit me too? Bro, that's enough. What's going on in here? Nothing, coach. Just some trash talking. That scrimmage came down to the wire. Well, listen up. Coach Miller wanted to say a few words to you. He's the one that'll be calling the shots if you make the main roster. So pay attention. Thank you, Coach Taylor. I'm not going to hold y'all up. I just wanted to say a few things. First off, good scrimmage today. I liked what I saw. Vegas Summer League starts in less than a week, so that energy y'all brought today, I need that same energy every day, every game. This Summer League is your rookie showcase. This is where you show the front office that we made the right decision, so don't screw it up. Johnson. Yes, coach. Remind me again what your three-point percentage was in college. 46.7, sir. That's right. You could probably shoot a penny in a piggy bank. Probably. On that last play, I know you can make that shot. We all do. But Richardson was wide open in the corner. Share the ball. Got it, coach. Richardson. Yeah, coach. Can I have a word in my office? Um, yeah. Sure, coach. Huh. Wonder what that's about. That boy about to get cut. Watch. <laughs> if anybody getting cut, it's your ball hogging ass. Ball hog? It ain't my fault I'm the only ball handler on my squad. These clowns can barely bring the ball up the court. And you can barely get to the rim without getting your shit blocked. So I guess we even. I know you ain't talking. Did you go cry in the car when Cash straight up bitched you last week? What? How about you come say that shit to my face? Hey, stop. Bro, what is going on with y'all? Why is everybody on 10 today? Nah, we got to fix this. If you got plans tonight, 
cancel them because we doing something as a team. What? You heard me. Team bonding. Bowling, top golf, something. I don't care. Man, y'all deaf don't want to see me in golf. <laughs> you probably trashing that too. What? You want to put some money on that? Mmm, top golf it is. Nice. So your plan to combat dudes being competitive is to play another competitive sport. Makes sense. Yeah, and if one of y'all start fighting that top golf, I'm pushing your ass off the edge. And the objections? Cool. Top golf tonight at eight. I'll relay the message to Orlando. Everything okay, coach? Have a seat, Orlando. You look good out there today. You made some winning plays down the stretch. Forced a lot of turnovers. I was impressed. Thanks, coach. but that was to be expected. I knew you would deliver on the court. That's why we signed you. But it's off the court issues that I'm worried about right now. Off the court issues? I heard there was a little incident last week at a party. Ring any bells? <sighs> I'll take that as a yes. Coach, look, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I know. He was saying a lot of disrespectful stuff, and I let it get under my skin. Guys fight all the time. In games, in the locker room, at practice. Rob always says if it happens in-house, then it's in our control. But when something like that happens outside of a game, outside of the locker room, outside of practice, then it's out of our control. Thankfully, this happened away from the media's prying eyes. But understand, if something like that happened in public, or worse, if someone called the police... I understand, coach. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to play basketball. It won't happen again. I know it won't. And Coach Taylor and I came up with an idea to help with that. We want to put you on curfew. A curfew? Just until Summer League is over. It's a method he's been using with rookies for years, and it works wonders. Coach, I'm 22 years old. I don't need a curfew. Well, show me. Your curfew is at 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? Yep, and it starts tonight. Just so you can get used to it. I want you to FaceTime me every night at 10. Coach, is this really necessary? Did Cash get a curfew? I didn't fight myself. Cash isn't in his rookie season on a prove-it contract. Coach, I get that, but... The owners wanted to cut you, Orlando. What? They wanted Rob to waive you and not look back. I convinced them not to. This curfew is a compromise, and I think it's a pretty damn good one considering. Orlando, who do you think pushed to get you signed? Mark and Rob were set on signing some European kid before I brought it to their attention that you didn't get drafted. Not Rob, me. I think you have the potential to not just be a good player, but a star in the league. That's why I stuck my neck out for you. And that's why I'm doing it again. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Perfect. I look forward to your FaceTime tonight. Hey, 
unless you talking Remember, top golf tonight. Don't be late. Switch up on my nigga for a figure, that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now, that's funny timing. Eyes been on that prize, I cop that crib off for that timepiece. I'm trying to see the globe and sell out shows until the flight leaves. They wanna ride my ties, but they ain't even ride or die, please. But I've been short on time, been in the prime, I'm my prime easy. I said I never changed. Hey man, you good? You just came in the locker room, got your shit, and left straight back out. I'm fine. You still on the team, right? Yeah, I'm still on the team. Cool. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the whole team is going to Top Golf tonight. Team bonding type beats, you know? I won't be there. What you mean? Did you not hear me just say team bonding? You and Ezra need it the most. We can't be going to Vegas with all that negative energy. Y'all need to squash the beef. Coach Miller found out about what happened at the party. Bro, how? You think it was cash? Nah. He might be an asshole, but he not no snitch. Then who? Ezra? I don't know, man. So what did Coach say? He put me on a curfew, starting now until summer league is over. A curfew? What time? 10 p.m. Damn, you couldn't even get a midnight curfew like Cinderella? And we about to be in Vegas? Sin City? Hell nah. My brother in Christ, you're cooked. This is a travesty. You didn't try to negotiate? Bro, I'm already on thin ice. Nothing I can do. If I fuck up again, I'll most likely be off the team. Damn. This whole fucking week has been trash. Just add this to the list. What else happened? Not even worth talking about, to be honest. Try me. I got ghosted. Ghosted? That's it? Hey, niggas get curved every day, B. Brush that shit off and get back focused. Trust me. I feel goofy for even letting this shit get to me. <laughs> yeah, you tripping. This is LA. There's fine ass women everywhere you look, bro. You'll probably run into somebody that looks just like her tomorrow. Doubt it. What she look like? Damn, oh, you know what? On second thought, I was tripping. That's a generational talent right there. Hit her up again. Uh, shit, email her. Nah, it is what it is. Her loss. Oh, so you the dark skin Drake now. She gave me her number. I hit her up. Nothing. It's been a whole week and no reply. No re-receipts, nothing. It don't make sense to me. The vibe we had, it was like some movie type shit. Only one explanation for that, bro. What? She got a dude. You think so? Yep. She probably went home and that guilt hit her ass immediately. Shit is crazy. Bro, this new generation of women? Psst, spooky. Maybe you gave him the wrong number? I think I know my own number, Raven. Maybe he's just another fuckboy athlete. Can't say I was expecting any less. How did we go from, oh, Raven, stop, it's not even like that, I'm done with professional athletes, to uh, you raging over, Jack Snows, a professional athlete? I'm not raging. I just hate liars and people who waste my time. So you admit that you were planning on giving him your time. What? That's not even... Whatever. Brax, who are you trying to fool? You like him. It's okay. <laughs> Please. We've had like two conversations. Two very fleeting, alcohol-fueled conversations. Like is crazy. Okay, T-Pain. You can blame it on the alcohol all you want. But not only did you give him your real number, not the Google voice, but you almost kissed him. Raven. And you ran after him like a puppy when he got into that fight and almost ruined my sister's album release party. I did not run. Jogged a little bit. Okay, whose side are you on? Hmm? Mine or the asshole who ghosted me? I mean, it's technically not ghosting if he never hit you up to begin with, right? What if he's just waiting for the right time? Raven. <sighs> You're right. Fuck him and the horse he rode in on. That's more like it. Thank you. But enough about him. Chauncey will be here any minute. Let me get my life together real quick. 
Are you excited to meet Amir's real girlfriend? <laughs> I still can't believe you thought I was dating his ass. Yeah, I'm excited. Amir really introduces us to the women he's dating, so I don't know. She might really be the one. You think Amir is ready to settle down? I don't know. I just hope she's not a bird. Well, make sure you tell him when he's ready to get rid of that bachelor pad and get a family home. Call me. <laughs> Trust me, he knows. Okay, phone, check. Keys, check. That must be Chauncey. Can you get that? Ugh, do I have to? Ugh, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Yuck. The feeling is mutual, loud mouth. Kiss my ass. Not even with somebody else's lips. Where's my sister? Brax, your adopted brother is here. What? Yep. I heard you were the break baby. Hey. <sighs> What's up, sis? So Amir literally has no idea you're coming. He thinks you're all the way in Oakland right now at practice. Cool. So what's the plan? Okay, I'm gonna ring the doorbell and you just stand over to the side out of you. Then I'm gonna say something like, oh, I wish Chauncey was here. You know, all sad and shit. And that's when you pop out. Bet. He gonna be so hyped to see me. Yeah. I'm gonna head out, Brax. I have a house to show in the hills. Tell me how the brunch goes. I will. I got you. Bye, babes. Adios. I just spoke to Dad, by the way. I'm pretty sure he's bringing her. Are you fucking kidding me? For what? Brax, promise me you'll be chill this time. <laughs> you know she's using him, Chauncey. She's playing him like a fiddle. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if she had a side piece somewhere. That's actually her age. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Some got caught in my throat. Do you need some water? Nah, I'm good. Well, like I was saying, she's the devil incarnate and I refuse to coexist with the devil. I'm driving, right? Yeah, you got it. Well, chop chop, because we're kind of pushing it. <laughs> Why do you look so nervous? Your family's gonna love me. I know they will. It's just the last time we were all in the same room, it was a disaster. I, I don't want to repeat of that. Amir, it'll be fine. Do you see the stress on me? This is a recipe for harmony and all good things in the world. Amir, relax. I know how to read people. And I certainly know how to read a room. And in a few minutes, I'm going to charm everyone in it. Kind of like how I charmed you. How do I look? You look great, baby. Lori, let's go. We're gonna be late. Coming! 
What are you doing? What? Is my dress too revealing? I thought I told you to take it off today. But why? We should be celebrating this, not hiding it. Lori, we talked about this. As soon as the divorce is finalized, we can let everyone know. Now is not the time. I don't get it. Why didn't you just wait to propose if you were just going to ask me to hide it? I'm tired of walking on eggshells with your family. I know. But today is not the day, Lori. Today is about my son. I don't want a repeat of the draft. If my ex-wife or my daughter see you wearing that ring, it'll just cause a commotion. You are my fiance, and I'm going to marry you. You not wearing that ring today won't change that. Fine, I won't wear it. Thank you. So, who do you think Amir's girl is? I don't know. He said I'll be starstruck. And I don't get starstruck often, so it has to be someone big. Singer, model, actress? What if it's like Megan Thee Stallion? That would explain why she ain't responding to my DM yet. <laughs> oh boy. I have, a, I have a question. What's up? You remember your, your teammate, the one that came to your draft party? Brax, my whole team came. Gotta be specific. Um, I think his name is Orlando. Oh yeah, big O. What about him? When's the last time you spoke to him? I just talked to O yesterday. Why? Yesterday? Uh, yeah. That asshole. Something going on with y'all? Nope. Absolutely not. And there never will be. I'll get it. You stay here and look pretty. Easy. Well, if it isn't my favorite brother. I'm your favorite brother? Since when? Does Chauncey know this? <laughs> I do now. Yo, what? What are you doing here? Being the number one draft pick has its perks. Boy, that was not the plan. He was still surprised, wasn't he? Wait, you knew he was in town? Everyone did but you. Wow. I gotta tell Milo to prepare another play now. Come on. Where is this mystery woman, Amir? There she is. Brax, Chauncey, this is Carrington. Carrington, these are my siblings. Hi, it's so nice to meet you guys. Damn, Amir, you did your big one, bro. Nice to meet you. I'm a big fan. Aw, thank you. You're too cute. Cute? You're literally one of my favorite actresses. I don't even know what to say. Oh, stop it. My ego's already big enough. It's so nice to meet you. Amir spoke so highly of you. It all makes sense now. I'll get that. Wow. Breathe, Brax. <laughs> I know I'm being a major fangirl right now. I'm so sorry. But the way you command the camera and steal every scene, no one compares. Thank you. I know I told you to stop, but I can't lie. I'm loving this. 
Mom, this is my girlfriend, Carrington. I know who she is, silly. It's so nice to meet you, Mrs. Woodbine. You look beautiful. So do you. And call me Teresa, sweetie. That won't be my last name for much longer. Oh, well, okay. Hey, baby. Love that skirt. Thanks, Mom. What's up, Mama? That must be Dad. I'll get it. Amir, you still haven't hired a house manager to answer the door? Nope. Waste of money. Oh, that boy is so frugal. Really? I haven't seen that side of him. Oh, sounds like he's breaking the bank on you, huh? I wouldn't say breaking the bank. We spoil each other. That's how it should be. And what would you know about it? You better not be out there blowing your money on these women, Chauncey. That's all they want from you. Mama, I know. I'm not dumb. I know you're not, sweetie. But some of these women are master manipulators. They can even fool the ones that think they know everything. Just look at your father. He's letting a young tramp run his pockets as we speak. <clears throat> um, Dad, this is Carrington. St. James? Oh my God, girl, I love you. Amir, I didn't know you had another sister. <laughs> I need a mimosa. Stat. I'm right behind you. She's not my sister. She's my dad's girlfriend. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Carrington. I love your movies. Thank you. Chauncey. Lori. Unbelievable. He couldn't leave her ass at home for a few hours? Scared she's gonna wipe the accounts? Pawn all the jewelry? Can you imagine if I was flaunting some 20-year-old boy toy around in the middle of my divorce? I'd look ridiculous. Mom, you okay? I'm fabulous, sweetie. You? Can we all just try to be cool today? Cool, calm, and collected. Oh, please. Chauncey's right, Mom. Let's just try to be zen. Just pretend she doesn't exist. With that voice? Impossible. <laughs> just try. We don't want to end up in a Carrington St. James memoir 20 years from now, do we? Can you believe it? Carrington St. James. I still can't believe it. Why not? Amir got crazy Riz. Riz? Now what the hell is that? <laughs> it's like another word for game or charisma, Mom. Oh, you kids in these slang words. They're such a beautiful couple. My grandbabies are gonna be gorgeous. Really, Mom? Too soon? Oh, it's Jason. I'm gonna take this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, sweetie. How many of those you had? Excuse me? Who's the parent? Me or you? Hello? Braxton, how's it going? You won't believe who I just met. Robert De Niro. Uh, random, but no. Carrington St. James. What are the odds she's exactly who I was calling you about? Really? What about her? Carrington was casted in Rose from Concrete. She's officially your castmate. What? Jackson, that's amazing. Amazing? Braxton, this is terrible news. Terrible? How? Well, for one, when people see the cast list, they're going to be asking why you got the lead and she didn't. So? They were going to be asking that anyway. Yeah, because you're new. This just added a whole extra layer. There are movies that have been completely scrapped because people didn't agree with the casting. We don't need bad press. Jason. None of that matters, because I'm going to prove to them why I got the role. Plus, I get to work with one of my favorite actresses ever in my first film ever. And not just any actress, an actress that looks like me and has broken barriers in this industry. Tell me again why I shouldn't be happy. <sighs> Braxton, you don't understand. Carrington is like a real-life supervillain right now. She didn't accept the supporting role because she wanted to, she accepted it to prove a point. That point being... 
that Jackson chose the wrong lead. This is your first movie, and she's going to do everything in her power to make sure it's your last. <laughs> what is she gonna do? Put a hit out on me or something? She's an Oscar winner. She has nothing else to prove. You'd be surprised. Jason, I belong in the industry. That's what you said, remember? You do belong here, Braxton, but your margin for error just became non-existent next to her. She's the actress that the producers originally wanted. They're going to be nitpicking everything you do, counting every mistake. You know what that means. You have to be perfect. You have to give an Oscar-winning performance. Well, if Lupita can do it with her first movie, so can I, right? That's the spirit. I have a meeting to get to, but let's talk soon. Okay. Bye, Jason. What are you up to, Carrington? Stop staring. I like your shoes. Appreciate it. I like your shoes. Really? What? I was nervous. He must have just moved here, cause I ain't never seen his fine ass before. I'll be straight. I'm a homebody anyway. I'm more concerned about being on coach's bad side. If I fuck up again, they'll cut me. Don't even worry about that. Just keep your head down and focus on ball. By the way, I did a little research. And I think I found out who slipped Theo the info about the fight. Who? Was it Ezra? Cash? Nope. It's none of your teammates. Don't worry. Then who did it? Lance Calhoun. Who? Lance Calhoun. He's a venture capitalist. He was at that album release party because he's dating Seven's mother. Okay. So how does he know Theo? Fun fact. Mark Turian only owns 85% stake of the LA Titans, which makes him the majority owner. Any guesses as to who the minority owner is? Lance Calhoun. Small world. How does he even know who I am? Orlando. The Titans are his company. It's his job to know who you are. But even if he didn't, getting into a physical fight with the star of the team may have been the only motivation he needed to find out who you were. Like I said, just keep your head down, follow the rules, and focus on basketball. I hear you. How are you settling into your new place? You like it? Yeah, it's cool. The view not as nice as the one from the hotel, but I'm just happy to have my own space. Well, if you kill it this season, you'll be able to afford the best view in LA. No pressure though. 
Yeah, no pressure. Alrighty then, keep me updated on the situation. We'll talk soon. Cool. Later, Nico. So, Amir, how did you and Carrington meet? We met at a party, a mutual friend. I saw from across the room looking perfect and went to introduce myself. The rest is history. He must have charmed the pants off of you. Definitely. Usually men are too intimidated to approach me, so I was a little taken aback. He had so much confidence and... Riz? Oh, um, sure. That's such a cute story. That's exactly how Charles and I... So, should we be expecting an engagement brunch in the near future? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Go for it. It's definitely engagement season. Oh, I didn't know there was such a thing. You're probably right, but as someone who was... <clears throat> um, Carrington, do you have any movies coming up? I actually do. It's funny that you ask because my co-star is literally sitting at this very table. Co-star? Who's your co-star? Oh shoot, I forgot everyone else wasn't in the know. I'm so sorry, me and my big ass mouth. Well, you might as well tell us now. I'm gonna be in a movie, surprise. What? Sweetie, that's amazing. Oh, don't be modest. She's not just gonna be in the movie. She's starring in it. Yo, what? Braxton, sweetie, is that true? <sighs> yep. Congrats, sis. Oh my goodness. Why on earth did you keep this from us? I was supposed to keep it under wraps until the official press release. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I could shed a tear. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. This is amazing, Braxton. I'm proud of you, too. Man, what? We gotta throw you a party or something. <laughs> you sound like Raven. Wait, Raven knew before me? I slipped up and her and Blake figured it out. Don't feel bad. And please, guys, don't say anything until the press release. Oop, let me delete this Instagram post. Mom. I'm kidding. We're just so proud of you. Thanks, guys. I'm really excited, especially getting a chance to work with Carrington. I can't wait to see you in action. Hmm. Likewise. Well, since we're sharing good news. Lori, what are you doing? Charles and I are engaged. What? Congratulations. Congratulations. Dad, is that true? Of course it's true. See? Wow, that is one big rock. Isn't it beautiful? Lori, sit down now. This isn't how I wanted you guys to find out. We were gonna wait until- Our divorce was finalized? As if that would have made your trifling ass look better. The nerve of you. Teresa, please. Now isn't the time. I disagree. This is the perfect time. Welcome to the family, Carrington. Welcome to the goddamn circus. Dad, you really wanna marry this? Careful, Chauncey. No, nah, you be careful. Well, I might fuck around and reveal some shit, too. You know, I didn't even want spousal support from your decrepit ass. But with this new revelation, oh, baby, I want 100K a month. I can't believe this shit, man. I also want that Rolex I got you for Christmas two years ago. That brand new convertible Aston Martin that your midlife crisis having ass just purchased. And your head on a spike. Gift wrapped. Braxton, do something. I thought you wanted me to be chill. 
You want to talk about class when you just gave this video vixen an engagement ring? <laughs> oh, please. As if you were Mother Teresa when we met. I hope she takes you for everything you're worth right after I take you for half. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Stop. Now y'all see why I don't bring anybody around this fucking family? Amir? I'm just gonna... Yeah. Did everyone try the chicken? I thought it was lovely. <sighs> well, that was eventful. Yeah. You okay? I'm good. I just, I can't believe he's marrying her. I just assumed she was... His midlife crisis rebound? Yeah, something like that. If he marries her, he'll be making the biggest mistake of his life. He has to see that for himself, Chauncey, okay? There's nothing we can do about it. Nah, it's something. What did you say? I said I feel bad for a mayor. He just wanted to introduce us to his girl. I won't lie. His comment about never bringing anyone around us kind of hurt my feelings. You know he met mom and dad. They can't even be in the same room without bickering these days. Yeah, but it's still stung nonetheless. So, what are your plans for the rest of the night? Probably just go back to my hotel room and sleep. I feel that. I honestly need a drink. I think I'm gonna call Raven and Blake and go to a bar or something. Wanna tag along? Raven... yeah, I'm good. Why do you guys hate each other so much? I don't hate her. She's just loud. <laughs> okay then. Text me and let me know you made it back to your room safe. Got you. Congrats again on the movie, Brax. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Chauncey. Yeah. We need to talk. Braxton, I'm glad you picked up. How quickly can you get to Koreatown? Koreatown? Um, maybe like 30, 40 minutes? Why? I have some people I want you to meet. Some very, very important people. Can you get here? Depends. Where exactly is here? It's a bar, speakeasy type situation. But the place is so exclusive, it doesn't even have a name. I'll send you the address. Just look for a red door and say the password. I'll text you that too. No name, a red door, and a password entry? What is this, a sex dungeon? Nah, I've been to a few sex dungeons in my day and this isn't even close. Wait, what? Are you coming or not? What am I saying? Of course you're coming because everybody who's anybody is here right now and you're somebody, Braxton. Uh, do you always speak in TED Talk? <laughs> Ted wishes he were me. See you in 40 minutes. Jackson, wait. Hello? I'm coming. I'm 
Kai? What are you doing here? Damn, that's how you greet your guests? Guests? You gonna let us in or what? What's all this? We're here to read you a bedtime story. Bro, what do you think it is? Team bonding. You thought we was just gonna leave you out? If Coach got you confined to the crib, we gonna be confined with you. Y'all ain't have to do that. What you mean? We a team, ain't we? I guess Walmart Drake had other plans, huh? Man, if he want to alienate himself, that's on him. Damn, you ain't got shit in this fridge. Bro, I just moved it. All right, look, check this out. I'll order some pizzas, bootleg Kobe. You on the ox. And Q, start up this 2K tournament. Bet. Titans team bonding is officially underway. Definitely a sex dungeon. Password. One second. Wrong. Oh, no, I meant give me one second so I can pull up the password. Wrong again. You know what? The password is Aqua Velva. Are you asking me or are you telling me? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You can come on in. And you made it. Wow, you look otherworldly. My eyes are up here, Jackson. <laughs> I see. No pun intended. How did I not know about this place? Sometimes you just gotta know the right people. Speaking of, there's someone I want you to meet. Follow me. Braxton, this is Wayne Tracy, chairman and CEO of WTG Studios and one of the executive producers for the film. Wayne, this is Braxton Woodbine, our star. Nice to meet you, Mr. Tracy. She's your star, Jackson. My star is Carrington St. James. We're lucky she decided to accept a lesser role in the movie or else this thing would have gone down faster than the Hindenburg. Wow, okay. You and I both know that no movie my name is attached to is tanking. Three back-to-back -back Oscars, Wayne. I'm like Jordan in his prime. Which is why I stayed on board when you announced you were casting an amateur. I am still standing here, you know. No offense, kid. You have talents. I watch your size. But I just don't think you're ready to be the lead in a multi-million dollar film. I think what he meant to say was, we're going to get you ready. No, I meant what I said, Jackson. She's green. She's a project. She's not ready. <laughs> A project? I wouldn't say project. I mean, she's already a work of art, as you can see. She just needs the right artist to turn her into a masterpiece. <laughs> I wish I had a dime for every time I've heard that in this industry. Nine out of ten things don't work out that way. <laughs> well, I think you should take those dimes and buy some stock in my career, because I plan on being in that one out of ten percent. <laughs> you know what? I like the confidence. But sometimes you can have all the talent and confidence in the world and still not be lucrative. Speaking of lucrative, my star is here. Now that woman right there has made me a lot of money in this industry. If you'll excuse me. 
That went well. Don't worry about it. He's hard-nosed. But he'll come around. Were you planning to cast her all along? Carrington? She may have been on the shortlist for the lead, but as soon as I saw your audition, my choice was clear. As you can see, her being in the movie is just a way to pacify all of the petulant, pompous producers. Nice alliteration. Thanks. Can I buy you a drink? Definitely. Let's go! You trash, boy! I'm blowing you out! Man, shut up. You got a stacked team. Ah, excuses, excuses. the ball I was still pissed about the party and I let it affect my emotions on the court and that stuff I said about you being a flyer and going undrafted that's not who I am as a person or a player so I apologize it's cool so are we good yeah we good I don't know who's going to take this L, but I got next. I'm so sorry. Damn, girl. You almost broke my shoulder. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Shit, I'll be whoever you want me to be, girl. What's your name? Uh, Beatrix. It's, it's Beatrix. <laughs> your mama named you Beatrix? Can I get your number, though? Uh, sure. Just let me go to the ladies' room first. All right, Beatrix. Just be sure to bring your fine ass back over here. Funny seeing you here. I could say the same about you. Sorry again about the drama today. My parents can usually find a way to coexist, but whenever she's around, things always seem to go to shit. She can never just seem to stay in her place. Oh, the irony. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, was there something you needed to get off your chest? <laughs> Oh, Braxton, your naivete is almost charming. Excuse me? 
Let's get one thing straight. Me dating your brother doesn't make us friends. I studied for this role for an entire month just to have it stolen because Jackson wants to fuck you. Nah, I got the role because I'm talented and I killed my audition. Maybe you just weren't what the director was looking for. Oh, sweetie. Is that what you really think? <laughs> you know what? Fine, I'll humor you. If you're so talented, then you surely have the filmography to show for it, right? What was the name of your last film? Oh, right. Your acting resume is as desolate as an idiot's skull. Meanwhile, actual actresses like me had to start from the bottom and work like hell just to get a seat at the table. Spare me, Carrington. I know what you're trying to do and it's pointless. I'm still the lead and you're not. Hmm, true. So if I were you, I'd make the best out of this hormone-fueled handout that Jackson Ford so graciously awarded you. Or should I say hand job? Carrington, you're pushing 30, babe. This high school bully act is beneath you, don't you think? You want to know what I think, Braxton? Not really, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. I think you and I know this is an anomaly. And you'll go right back to swatching lipsticks and selling flat tummy tea when this is all over. Don't make that face, love. You'll get frown lines. Never meet your heroes. Check. Look, man, you got to get somebody right now while you still a rookie. Somebody that you know not with you for your money. Or just get someone that has their own, too. Facts. I'm still not giving up on my baby seven. We're going to be a power couple. Watts. What? We are. I might just fuck around and be a bachelor forever. Bro, you still not over shorty that ghosted you? She must have put some voodoo on your ass or something. Damn, bro. You got ghosted. Was she bad at least? Why you think he all messed up about it? I might fuck around and go hit her up myself. <laughs> it was a joke, bro. Damn. It's not even about looks. It was the vibe. She came outside to calm me down after the cash incident, and it just felt like a weight got lifted off my shoulders. As soon as she touched me, shit was weird. <laughs> oh, this nigga in love. All right, man. She was at the party? What was her name? Braxton. You talking about Braxton Woodbine? Yeah, you know her? Uh-oh. Relax. We've been friends for a few years now. I met her through seven. She ghosted you? Yep. Why? That just doesn't really seem like her style. She's pretty blunt, so if she isn't feeling you, she'll most likely tell you. How do you know? She must have curved you too. How about you mind your business and take my word for it? Well, I guess you don't know her as well as you think you do. You sure you have the right number? Bro, she gave me her number herself. She wrote it down on a piece of paper. Well, did you put it in your phone correctly? What? Of course I did. Okay, read it off. For what? Bro, I'm just trying to help you. Fine. 213. Five five five. O oh, two six seven. Uh, zero one six seven. What? The last four digits. You said zero two six seven. It's zero one six seven. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Shorty didn't even ghost you. You just dumb. Nah, it's no way. It's gotta be O oh, two six seven. It's not. Take it from someone that has actual replies in their text thread. Damn, O. Don't tell me you fumbled over one digit. Nah, she must have gave me the wrong number. I'm going to go find the paper and prove it. Uh, yeah, you do that, buddy. It's no way, bro. No way. Where is it?
Fuck. Yep. 0167. Damn. Mm. Rest in peace to that man. Do you have any idea why one of the biggest music producers in the industry thinks your name is Beatrix? Um, no. No idea. Everything okay? Oh, you know. Just getting some fresh air after finally being knocked in the face by the stench of Carriage and St. James' run to Kangsoul. Hmm. My manager warned me. She really is a real-life supervillain. I don't know about supervillain, but she is insecure. I don't get it. All that success and she still feels threatened by those without it. She's gonna try to upstage me and get me blacklisted. <laughs> Nonsense. Blacklist my muse? My number one draft pick? Asinine. She'd have to blacklist me too. I got your back, okay? We're a team now. Thanks, Jackson. That makes me feel a lot better. Good. You coming back inside? Yeah. I just need a minute. Take all the time you need. Just don't leave me waiting too long. Come on, pick up. Hello, who is this? Hey, it's me. <laughs> Hello? What do you want? Don't hang up. Just hear me out, okay? You have exactly 15 seconds. Good, because I only need 10. I was texting the wrong number this whole time. I was one digit off. You were one digit off? <laughs> yeah, okay. I swear, I texted you as soon as I made it home. That same night, when you didn't respond, I just assumed you went to sleep. The next day, I sent a good morning text. Got nothing back. I checked my phone all day. Nothing. The next day, I tried again. Still nothing. I started coming up with excuses. Or maybe you lost your phone or something. The next day, I went to your IG and saw you posted. I tried to act like it didn't bother me, but that shit ruined my whole day. The next day, I wrote a strongly worded paragraph in my notes that I was planning on sending you if you ever decided to respond back. But obviously you didn't, for obvious reasons. Day. I finally accepted that I took an L. I deleted your number and the thread just to find out that it wasn't actually your number. You probably still won't believe me, but that's what happened. And I feel like a fucking idiot. You still there? I can't believe it took you a week to delete the thread. I would have done it on day two. <laughs> That's what you took away from that? Are you busy? Nah. Why? Well, I'm currently someplace I don't really want to be at. Shocking, shocking. I know. And let's just say... If I had any other plans tonight, I would leave said place in a heartbeat. Interesting. So in other words, you need rescuing. That's one way to put it. Where you at? I'll come right now. Are you sure? If you have other plans. I just want to see you. Korea 
that's only 10 minutes away from me. Send me your location, I'll be on my way. Okay. See you in a bit. Bet. Um, I appreciate y'all for coming to chill with me. It means a lot to me. I'm tired, and I'm ready to go to bed. What are you, a 75-year-old man? It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Look, y'all don't gotta go home. Y'all gotta get the hell up out of here, all right? You really about to kick us out? Yes. Hey, look, man. If this is about me drinking the last of your apple juice, I'll cash out. Man, I don't care about no damn juice. I'm just tired. He lying. He about to get some cheeks. Oh, why didn't you just say that? Wait, you recovered the ball, bro? Yes. Hey, my boy. Yeah, let's pack it up, boy. Big O got the 1v1 schedule. Man, whatever. You don't got no snacks anyway. I literally just moved here. You not going out, are you? Maybe. Why? Why? Don't forget why we were over here in the first place. You got a curfew. Walmart Drake is right. Go make your fellow dark-skinned brothers proud and then bring your ass right back to the crib. I know what time it is, bro. I'll be here. All right. Can't say we ain't warn you. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good, now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody has to let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should. Barely know the way around my neighborhood. I'm ruminating, I feel no good. Not living life like I know why. Hey. Hi. You look good. Thank you. Where to? How was your day? Unhinged. I forgot you really don't go into detail. Today was a lot. It was draining. I don't really want to think about it or even talk about it. Is that okay? Yeah. That's progress, I guess. <laughs> progress towards what exactly? I don't know. I guess we'll see, huh? I forgot how much of a smooth talker you were. Smooth talker? Nah. You hungry? See what I mean? <laughs>
here's your water, sir. Thank you. What? Nothing. Sitting across from you at a restaurant just isn't how I expected to be ending my night. Facts. Because this morning, you were dead to me. <laughs> wow. Due to your own mistake. That's crazy. You know what it is? I have big hands. I just misclicked. Look, hold out your hands so you can see the difference. Mm-mm. I know that trick. Huh? The old, oh my god, your hand is so big compared to mine trick. You're just doing it in reverse. <laughs> if you say so. I'm glad you called. I'm glad you answered. Again. You know, I do remember you saying something about there being a strongly worded message in your notes or something. Can I see it? Huh? Huh? If you can huh, you can hear. Can I see it? <clears throat> I deleted it. <laughs> Bullshit. Pull up that recently deleted. <laughs> nah, I just got back in your good graces. You definitely don't need to see that. It can't be that bad. Besides, now that I know the context, I promise not to hold it against you. Nah. Please? <sighs> Fine. Here. Works every time. What? Nothing. Jesus, he wrote a novel with stanzas and everything. It's not even that long. Should I do a dramatic reading? I should do a dramatic reading. <laughs> <clears throat> this is called Big Hands by Braxton Woodby. <laughs> yeah, I'm good on you. You went through all that trouble to give me your number just to ghost when I hit you up? Maybe you should be an actress. Boy, do I have news for you. Are you done? Oh, me? You mean, are you done? According to the one, two, three more stanzas left, I'd say no. It looks like you were really chewing me up, so bear with me. Ooh, I like this one. No, I shouldn't let your ass walk off and be miserable at that party. I don't know why I'm wasting my energy. You better thank God you look the way you do on the outside, because you ain't shit on the inside. Ooh. <laughs> I really felt the emotion <laughs> through the screen there. You really conveyed that really well. All right, man. That's enough. I mean, that was great. You even threw a compliment in there. You know, even even though it was backhanded. You must think I'm the corniest dude alive now. <laughs> I don't. You're not beating the intense allegations, though. I can't believe you were this mad. Oh, so you weren't mad when you thought I didn't hit you up? Nope. That was cool as a cucumber. You hung up on me and then answered again and gave me a 15 second time limit. Because I, I was busy. I was busy. Busy, right. Mm-hmm. And even if I was upset, it, it obviously wouldn't be because I like you or anything. I just was really looking forward to that workout. I could still give it to you. I, I mean, we could still do it. <laughs> you okay? My bad. Both of those sounded crazy. You should know, I... I have this rule. Oh yeah? What's that? I told myself that I'm done with men in the entertainment industry. All across. That includes musicians, actors, and professional athletes. Yeah? How's that going for you? Here's your phone. Shit. What is it? Um, nothing. Where's the waitress at with our food? <laughs> Are you in a hurry? Nah. Just hungry, that's all. Oh, okay. Thank you.
So how long have you been wanting to act? Ever since I was a little girl. I remember begging my mom to take me straight to Disney so I could have my own show like Raven Simone. Did she ever take you? Absolutely not. Why not? My mom and dad did their best to shield us from that lifestyle. They knew firsthand what it was like to be in the spotlight and they just wanted us to have a regular childhood. In hindsight, I'm glad they did that. So when should I be expecting to see you on the big screen? Mm, might be sooner than you think. Well, I'm just trying to find my way into the Oscar thank you speech. Play your cards right, and you might. So how's basketball going? Okay. My bad. What did you say? Nothing. Is there anything else I can get you guys? Yeah. Can you bring the check? I sure can. I'll have that right out for you. Thank you. You ready to go? I mean, I wasn't, but it seems like you are, so I saved you the trouble. What are you talking about? You've been checking your phone nonstop. Clearly you have somewhere else to be, so don't let me stop you. <sighs> and I already called an Uber, so you don't have to take me home. Well, cancel it. Why? Because I promise this is the only place I want to be right now. Even if I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay. And why aren't you supposed to be here? Because I have a curfew. I'm sorry, what? A, a curfew? My coach found out about the fight and put me on a curfew. I was supposed to FaceTime him at 10, but obviously I can't do that now. Why didn't you tell me? I would have never asked you to come get me. You just answered your own question. Well, I still don't want you to get in trouble. Don't worry about it. I'll just say I fell asleep early. You telling me not to worry isn't going to make me stop worrying. How about you rush straight home and I'll vouch for you. I kind of have a rapport with one of the owners of the team. You do? Yeah, my best friend's ex-best friend's mom has been dating him for years. He would take us on his yacht all the time. He was actually at the- Lance Calhoun. Yeah, Lance, how'd you know? He's the one that told my coach. Yikes. Well, I'll still vouch for you. Thanks. I'm sorry this got cut short. I'll make it up to you, though. If you let me. I'd like that. Curfew aside, I had a really good time. Me too. And you have the correct number this time. So use it. I will. He's one minute away, so if you want to go ahead and go, you can. I'm not leaving you out here by yourself. Face to face. Cold? Freezing. I should have brought a jacket or something.
I think that's my car. Let me know when you make it home. I will. Thanks for rescuing me. Anytime. Can I help you? Nah, you good. I was just admiring. That's a nice ass whip you got. It's brand new. Oh, you don't hear me talking to you? Look, bro. I'm just trying to get home. I don't want no problems. Shit, neither do we. I'm glad we on the same page. So how about you hand over them keys, and we go our separate ways. No problems. I'm not giving you my fucking car. You sure about that? Really, bro? Y'all about to rob your own? You see a brother with a nice car, and the first thing you think to do is rob him? It don't motivate you to get your own shit? Man, shut your ass up! Nobody want to hear that Assalamu alaikum Malcolm X ass shit. I saw your whip, and it did motivate me to get my own. That's why this shit about to be mine in less than 30 seconds. Don't worry. Key, please. Slowly. I'm trying no stupid shit either. You tall as a motherfucker, too. You play sports? Yup. Let me go, and I'll get y'all season tickets to go see me and my team play. Nah, I think we'll just take the BMW instead. Fuck, get his ass. Fucking all right, huh? Shit. Get the keys. Get that phone, too. Let's go. Damn, my shit jammed. Fuck it. Come on, we gotta go. Look like somebody was watching over you tonight. <laughs> 